Hello, today I will be doing a video on Books of Blood. The movie opens up with a bookkeeper telling the whereabouts of a rare book called The Books of Blood to two criminals. I loved the opening titles and was really excited for this. The first story is about a woman who suffered severe mental issues due to a traumatic event at her school. When her mother threatens to send her to the quote-unquote farm, she decides to run away. I was really digging this episode. Despite my feelings about Britt Robertson, it has a nice setup. Towards the middle, I started to wonder where the story was going. Is it supernatural? Is she crazy? What's going on with the man that's following her? It wasn't explained well because too many things happened and it doesn't add up to the explanation. I did think the ending was unexpected and I had a lot of respect for it. The second story is about a mother who loses her son to cancer and doesn't believe in ghosts or superstition and only goes by science. She meets a man who claims to be in contact with her son and puts her beliefs to the test. This actually took me a while to get into because I didn't really know what direction it was heading in, and that seems to be a pattern with the story so far. I do appreciate the fact that it's not as predictable as some other anthology movies. This particular story doesn't even seem like a horror at first, just a plot on a psychic versus scientist and dealing with grief and a bit of romance. The ending was very grisly, however, and kind of made me sad. Despite what was done, I still didn't think they deserved what happened to them. I also wish they hadn't used so much CGI. They could have achieved this with practical effects. I also wish they had shown less of the ghosts and maybe just focus on their eyes looking sinister. The third story deals with the same criminals from the beginning of the movie and follows them as they try to find the book. And I'm pretty sure you can guess what happens next. The very ending was more drama than horror and it really ties up everything that I was confused about in the beginning of the movie. I really did enjoy this and I think it's the perfect film to watch with your friends for Halloween season and I give it a 6.5 out of 10. I really hope they make a sequel because this one was pretty good.